The mini suite on Enchanted Princess is a beautiful cabin that's perfect for families or couples who want some extra space and a touch of luxury. In addition to a nice entry area and a full living room with extra TV, the bathroom is larger with a full-size bathtub. Join me for a full tour. Hey cruisers, Andrew from Ottawa, Canada here. Welcome to the Chill Cruiser, where I review cruise ships from a chill perspective, sharing tips on how to save time, money, and grief on your cruise vacations. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my mini suite on Enchanted Princess. I was in cabin R218, which is in the forward section of deck 14, only steps away from the forward elevators and two decks away from the Lido deck. The cabin ticks all the boxes of the Savvy Cruisers checklist since it has no public spaces above or below with no connecting cabin. Thanks to your medallion, the door opens automatically as you approach the cabin. To your left is the standard princess walk-in closet with lots of space to hang and store clothes. The closet includes several shelves and a small safe. Moving on to the bathroom, which features the usual amenities and shelves, but is a bit larger than standard cabins to accommodate the full-size bathtub. I can say it's full-size because I'm 6'4 and even I could lie in it comfortably. The bathroom has good quality bath products from the Lotus Spa, including body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. Back to the main entrance hallway, after the closet and bathroom is a nice entry area with a mirror and small shelf. The main part of the cabin is very elegantly appointed, with two distinct spaces. The bedroom features a large TV and a very plush and comfortable bed with good quality linens. There are two good sized bedside tables featuring lamps with built-in USB-A plugs. The light fixture also cleverly doubles as a heating and air conditioning vent. Princess is a great selection of on-demand entertainment, with countless new release and classic movies and TV series. The living room includes a large sofa with a separate side table. The sofa bed spins into a comfortable single bed. There's also a second TV and an oversized desk, with a top drawer storing the hairdryer. Under the desk is a mini fridge that's empty by default unless you're in the elite tier of Princess's loyalty program and qualify for the complimentary mini bar setup. There's a curtain that separates the sleeping and living spaces that offers privacy for traveling companions sleeping on the pull-out bed. It also comes in handy for early risers who want to enjoy the sunshine while letting everyone else sleep comfortably in the dark. The balcony is the same size as a standard balcony cabin, so it's on the small side, but two people can sit on an angle, and it includes a small dining table that comes in handy when you're enjoying room service. The only complaint I had about this room was that there was a lot of noise transferring from the cabin next door, where a family of four was staying. I could hear when their drawers were opening and closing, and the whole cabin shook for a few seconds every time their cabin door slammed shut. I could also hear and feel their kids screaming and stomping on the floor, but I think that had more to do with the neighbors than the room itself. Since I travel with friends and I've been on Enchanted twice, I was able to experience several other cabin categories. Hit subscribe so you don't miss upcoming tours of an interior, balcony, and penthouse suite cabins. If you're curious about what it's like to sail on Enchanted Princess, you can find my full review here. Thank you for watching and happy cruising.